I draw the attention of the students of honors fourth year belonging to Government Rajendra College for Ipur. This particular session can be regarded as a sort of online session or a virtual session. The students who are stranded at their respective homes and due to unavoidable reasons you are not capable of attending classes such an endeavor by me will benefit you to a large extent in this session in this virtual session i would like to focus on a particular novel from your syllabus the novel titled Jenner or entitled Jenner by Charlotte Bronte is going to be focused on. The lecture will be a brief one and it will not be possible on my part to provide you with a graphic picture of the novel but from my short deliberation you will have to grasp the content of my lecture and I think that you will reap immense benefit if you give a patient hearing to my lecture. Prior to going into detail, I would like to familiarize yourselves with some of the characters which will feature prominently or figure prominently in the course of your reading. Jenner is the protagonist, Mr. Rochester, another important character and you notice that a sort of amorous relationship, love relationship is established between Jane Eyre and Mr. Rochester or Edward Rochester. Bertha Mason is the insane wife of Mr. Rochester. Mrs. Reed, another important character. And she is the aunt of Jane Eyre. Mr. Brockley Hurst is the headmaster of a school named Lowood School, Helen Barnes. Helen Barnes is a character with whom Jane Eyre establishes a sort of friendly relations and she dies at a certain stage while at load school. For your exam preparations, you will have to focus on a number of broad questions, treatment of childhood, anti-romantic novel, the character of Mr. Rochester, ups and downs in the life of Jen. These are some of the major questions. So, I may give you a brief account with regard to a brief account with regard to the significance of the novel titled Jenner. In English literature, this novel is regarded as a very important literary work. It can be termed as a masterpiece as well. And it is the tale of, or it is the account of, a distressed girl who was orphaned at an early age, or at an early age. Jen's parents died of typhus, and later on, she was lost in the house of her aunt, Mrs. Reed. Mrs. Reed does not behave humanly with Jen. She is also tormented by her cousins. At one stage, she is sent to Lowood School and in Lowood School, she performs twofold responsibilities. First of all, she was enlisted as a, as a student there and later on, she becomes a teacher and during her stay, at Lowood School, she befriends Helen Barnes. Unfortunately, Helen Barnes 
dies and she is deprived of the affectionate behavior sympathetic treatment of Helen Burns. Mr. Brocklehurst is the head teacher of Lowood School, but he is a sort of arrogant and selfish type of man. And Jeff does not receive human character, hum uh, human behavior from him. Thornfield Hall is the next uh, destination at one stage where Mr. Edward Rochester is a prominent figure and he has an insane wife named Bertha Mason. But Jane was Jen did not have the idea that this individual really married Bertha Mason and he really did have a wife. A sort of love relationship, a sort of amorous relationship is established between these two ind individuals. At one stage, it is noticed that Jen is introduced to some of her cousins and one of his cousins sent John who is also a clergyman wants to marry Jem and an offer a proposal is offered to Jen that she will have to accompany Saint John to India and St. John manifests the desire to marry, declares his intention to marry Jen. But Jen receives a call from, it can be termed as a sort of mesmeric call, he receives a call from Mr. Rochester and he rushes to Thornfield once again. But it is noticed that the house is burned down by the insane wife of Rochester. The name of, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the name of that lady whom Rochester married was Bertha Mason. She commits suicide. And towards the end of this novel, it is noticed that Mr. Rochester and Jen Eyre are reunited, they are got married to each other and afterwards Jen is blessed with a son. If we evaluate impartially from an overall perspective, if you evaluate the entire novel from a broader perspective, you will notice that in course of time, Jen undergoes many ups and downs. Jen undergoes many vicissitudes in her life. She is the embodiment of suffering. She is the embodiment of struggle for women's emancipation. So, from a broader view, from a broader perspective, the particular novel, this particular novel can be regarded as a sort of feminist novel. And if we make a comparative study with Great Expectations um, by Hardy, there is a character called Pip. Pip also receives maltreatment. So the struggle to survive, the struggle to hold one's head aloft and the emancipation of womankind can be regarded as a sort of key concept in this particular novel. Today, I am not going to elaborate my lecture due to time constraint. It will not be wise on my part to have a detailed interpretation. I extend my thanks to all of you. I am going to wrap up my session today. Thank you very much.